Hey, what's up fam? Kill Friends here, and today I wanted to go ahead and tackle a pretty common question in my stream. Whenever anybody sees my inventory, they always, well not always, but usually ask the question of, how do you get so many legendary weapons? And before we, you know, just jump straight into that, I want to go ahead and also give you a couple of tips and also make the distinction of there's a difference between a legendary weapon and a good weapon. And also, if you don't know, just because epic doesn't necessarily mean it's worse than a legendary weapon. Because a lot of the weapon's um, damage also comes from the perks it has. So, just because it's purple, go ahead and check it out, see what rolls are good. And also, I'll be covering that in the future of, you know, what's good rolls and what, what exactly you want. But it's pretty straightforward. Now, it's honestly quite easy to get legendary weapons. Getting good legendaries is a lot more difficult. So, just by looking at my inventory, if you don't know, a lot of my high level weapons come from events. So, the Hydra is an event weapon. This Dragon's Fang, Dragon's Roar, uh, Dragon Fire, and this Gravedigger is all event weapons. So, it's very important to do your events. We're going to go ahead and get into that in just a little bit. Now first, let's go ahead and get into llamas. So, medieval wood llamas, you're never gonna get really anything significant from here. It's mostly just for experience. Maybe sometimes you get things for your collection book, which is also very important. But upgrade llamas is the next one. Now upgrade llamas, it is definitely possible. And my luck when it comes to upgrade llamas is honestly got here. But the thing is, you really don't wanna buy upgrade llamas too often. Maybe every once in a while, but generally, you want to go ahead and avoid them because it's very RNG based. There's uh, no guarantees of legendaries or epics when it comes to upgrade llamas. And very often, they can be very disappointing. Now, third, and these really do vary. But generally, event llamas are bread and butter when it comes to getting some good weapons. Now, I haven't touched on it yet, but. Something that's very important are elemental um, weapons or elemental damage. And generally, at least lately, a lot of elemental weapons, or I'm sorry, um, event weapons have been elemental by default. So for this one, the Spring Llama, these weapons are fire by default. And one even being fire with affliction by default. Now, the cool thing is these event llamas generally guarantee you an epic or legendary weapon or hero. So it's also very good for heroes too. Um, depends on a lot of things, you know, depends on the heroes, the offering for that specific event and also of course the weapons. Now, last but certainly not least, we have the Daily Llama. Now the Daily Llama, it really varies as far as what you want and what you don't want. Now, even though of course you have a Weapon Llama here and it seems very tempting, Weapon Llamas are generally just very, very bad. Um, it will very often, unless you get very lucky, give you an assortment of rare weapons, which you definitely don't want. Now, the llamas you do want from the daily, especially if you're aiming for weapons, would be super weapon llamas, whether it's melee or just, you know, just basic super range weapon llamas. Those give you a guarantee leg um, legendary or guarantee legendaries. And beyond it too, you should also look out for Troll Llamas, which would be Troll Stash or Troll, troll Truck. Now, Troll Stash and Troll Truck Llamas don't generally guarantee you a weapon, but they do guarantee you a assortment of legendaries. Troll Truck giving you a, a massive amount, while the Troll Stash will give you generally one or two plus, at the very minimal, uh, legendary weapons or items. Moving on to the event store, this is probably one of the best additions to this game. So in the event store, you can go ahead and purchase legendary and epic weapons and just like an assortment of things by simply playing the game and earning seasonal gold. So with the event store, you have two sections. You have the weekly items, which resets of course every week. And they offer a you know general list of items like evolution materials. They also offer legendary flux, epic flux. Uh, tackle that real quick. Definitely always pick up that. You probably always want to pick up your job terrain too. But um, to focus on 
this uh these right here you can see right here they also have a secondary currency called daily coins now daily coins you earn by doing your daily challenges so with these daily coins once you get 700 so basically a week's worth you can go ahead and purchase one of two items or both if you really want to this one i went ahead and picked up a ceiling gas trap but if i wanted to and i still can as long as i knock out my dailies i can go ahead and get me a copper terminator so that's always something very important you want to go ahead and check out and do so moving on up to we have so many things including an epic socket wrench so make sure you're always checking out the event weekly store earning season of gold and buying those if you really want the item and on the left side for this event we have the event items so these event items are at least this event updated periodically so every now and then they'll add something new uh, wukong is the latest edition uh, you have Snuggle Specialist Sarah, which was, I think, one or two weeks prior to Wukong. And these can, once again, have some generally good items, so you want to make sure you keep an eye out for that one. A Copper Zapatron, which isn't, like, the greatest of weapons, but still, of course, it's always something we're checking out. Maybe you get lucky, maybe you won't. The Copper Heartbreaker, which, of course, is Crossbow. And Survivors, which you always want to go ahead and get. Um, Survivors, once again, very important. And beyond that too, you have a Masters Driver 2 and a Striker AC Hero. So make sure you earn Season of Gold. Um, hang on to it if you don't need it and purchase these, uh, these items if you're looking forward to them. Now, next up, and this is a pretty fun section, is Transform Keys. Now, you earn Transform Keys through a variety of methods. Sometimes it can be a quest, sometimes uh, when a mission pops up, it will offer it as a reward, mostly the time-limited missions. You can go ahead and jump in them, and once you complete the mission, you'll get a Transform Key, usually for a variety of rare ones, but there's also sometimes epic. I'm not too sure about Legendary, but I know you can go ahead and get a epic Transform Key by doing some high-level missions and completing them. Now, once you acquire them, how transform keys work is what you got to do is you got to go ahead and, of course, select a key that you want to go ahead and transform to. So for this one, it's a hardware weapon transform schematic. Now, what you want to do, of course, is select this one, and there's going to be a certain amount of points you need to dump into it before you can get the actual reward. Now, let me go ahead and basically show this for you. So. With this one, we need a total of 200 points to get an epic transform schematic out of it. So it can be a combination of anything you already own. Now you have to go ahead and dump in um, dump materials or items you already have into the transform schematic to actually get out the epic weapon. So for this one, we can go ahead and use our um, rare defender. We can go ahead and dump what else into here. Um, honestly, I don't want to use any of these. I really don't want to actually get this out, but, um, see, we could just potentially do something like this, too. Since I don't really care too much for, um, this right here. So, essentially, what happens is we're going to lose whatever we put in, so we're going to lose this constructor if we do decide to go ahead and transform. As you can see right here, it'll tell you when you put enough points in. When you put enough points in, it'll tell you, okay, you're going to get epic hardware weapon along with 2500 hero experience now that's coming from me putting my constructor in so if you put like let's say a defender in you're going to get additional hero experience out of it too so that's something that's very very important to um, watch out for once again i don't get anything if i um transform below what it is actually with this one you can't transform at all if you don't have enough points in it so with this just for an example i'm going to go ahead and put our epic hero in there and we're going to go ahead and transform so when this happens also it sometimes acquires research points or something of that variety so once we transform we're going to go ahead and get something out that being a copper socket wrench which the rolls are kind of shitty on it but still um you know once again it's all rng so a great way to go ahead and get epic legendary weapons is going to be transform keys. Make sure you keep an eye out for missions and see what's available to you. Now, next up is make sure you always do your event quests. Your main quest you can go ahead and do anytime. Event quests are usually for a limited time, even though they do give you plenty of time to go ahead and complete them. 
I would say make sure you go ahead and get your event quest done as quickly as possible because you never know how long they're gonna last. So event quest will, or at least event quest lines will always give you a variety of rewards. V bucks um, for this one, this page right here, you get a legendary hero, not a great one, but still a legendary hero. Moving on past that one, you get tickets. And for this page right here, you can see you get a selection of legendary weapons. And this isn't really unique to uh, this event right here. If we go back to our armory and go to schematics, you can see that once again, a lot of weapons come from events. So the Hydra was an uh, event quest weapon, uh, Dragon's Roar. Um, I think this is actually the one I got from that previous um, event. So beyond that too, make sure you go ahead and get those done. Very, very important. Uh, Gravedigger top tier weapon came from the Halloween event. Now, last and, you know, honestly, least is Quest. Now, Quest, it really depends. They offer a wide range of different rewards, sometimes V-Bucks, um, sometimes resources, sometimes simply rare weapons. But on a rare occasion, once you get deep in the game, they'll offer up epic weapons, or I don't think there's even been a legendary weapon before, but um, it, it does sometimes offer you some rewards. So make sure you go ahead and go through your quest. Now that should just about cover everything when it comes to how to get legendary weapons in Fortnite Save the World. Um, if there's any questions, go ahead and um, ask down in the comment section. I will generally try to answer those as quickly as possible. But uh, most importantly, make sure you go ahead and sub and check me out live. When I go live, you can go ahead and ask whatever questions you have there. I'll try to answer live. If I miss your comment, don't worry. Don't don't stress out. I'm not ignoring you. I just probably I'm in the game or answering somebody else. So um, thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been a very informative, helped you out and sends you on the way to get an assortment, a massive collection of legendary goodness. And I will see you next time. Peace out.